way. Ten volunteers from Marine yeah. Corps Air Station Iwakuni Single Marine Program put on their work boots to help do some yard work at UN, a special needs home for children in Hiroshima, May 18th. A volunteer from the Single Marine Program, Private First Class Nathaniel Hoskin, says it is important for American service members to do their part to show the Japanese they will continue to be gracious guests in their host nation. I volunteer because, uh, you know, we are all in this world together and, you know, we can all be doing our own things, but it's, it's better to give back to the community and show them that we care about them because we're in their land and we don't have to be here. They are letting us be here. The project to enhance their garden started in November, and the Single Marine Program plans on continuing to visit to cut grass, pull weeds, and dig small trenches to direct water away from the children's home and tool shed. Single Marine Program Vice President Sergeant Emma Kepler says volunteering their free time to lend a hand helps bring Japanese and Americans closer together. I want to say that every single time I volunteered, First off, that everyone kind of seems nervous and they're kind of like, oh, what's happening? And then later everyone kind of gets together and it's like, yeah, and they want to work together. They're helping each other. They're getting each other water. It becomes a lot of fun. It's like they're a new family. UN helps adolescents ages 14 to 17 who have special needs live a more calm and relaxing lifestyle by providing them with activities such as gardening, making charms for good fortune, and woodworking. Reporting from Hiroshima, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal John Sebastian Andrade. Okay. <laughs> I got to tell you.